Hi all. It's good to be back on track again. And uh, that's what I'd uh, like to talk about today. I'm not sure how many people over the past two weeks have been confronted and have shared their confrontations and concerns with me about getting back on track after the holiday season, the indulgences, and the celebrations. Step one, you would not be watching this video if you didn't want to get back on program and lose weight. So the first issue is make a commitment and I will give you tools. So step number one is to make a commitment. Step number two, recognize that you would not be watching this video if you didn't actually know that what you are doing works. Number three, is a conflict within you between the adult person and the child who lives within you. Number four, and four is an easy thought but not an easy methodology. When I tell you what to do, you have to commit yourself to two weeks. At the end of two weeks, there will be no conflict. You'll be back on track and you're gonna start to feel really good about yourself. Now, let's begin. You cannot say no and be successful. The pressure of food is such that it gives you comfort. It doesn't give you anything else. And the comfort it gives you is momentary. It doesn't last. There's an issue also that I haven't brought in, and that's some of your relationships with people in your mind have changed because they've seen you indulging and therefore on some level they promote in you a greater degree of Give it a try. Let it happen. And here I want to tell you something. They don't care. It really makes no difference to them at all. Because the reason they've been negative or critical has nothing to do with anything but the fact that you were being successful impacted on them. 
And in order for them to deal with the feelings they had because of what you were doing, the easiest thing to do would be to tempt you. Because then they knew your commitment in their mind was not real. They had no idea that what we're talking about is adult child. So now, let's get started. Step number one. You have a thought to cheat. What I want you to do is to talk to the child within you, and all I want you to do is say, Sweetheart, we are thinking of cheating. Let's acknowledge the truth. And don't say you don't want to cheat. You know darn well you want to cheat. Whether it's good for you or bad for you is irrelevant. You want to cheat. So admit it. Now, the only reason that you're watching is because you recognize that cheating now is not good for you. So you're admitting that you want to cheat, which makes it real, which says, I have to pay attention. Step one, admit that you want to cheat. Step two, and this is important, I want you then to do three Qigong breaths with five seconds between each breath. And this is the reason. When you do the Qigong, there is nothing else that you can do. Literally, it stops you. It centers you. It relaxes you. And it makes you aware of the fact that the only reason you're doing the Qigong because you, the adult, has ordered it to happen. You're in control. You're in control. How do I know? Many of you report that when you're doing the Qigong, you hear voices back here. What are you doing? You haven't got time. Speed it up. The moment you say, I'm in control, it feels good. So step one, admit. Step two, three Qigong breaths with five seconds between each. Step three. Many of you know I have moved to Tic Tacs because they have zero calories. I don't care what flavor. Take three Tic Tacs and put them in your hand. These three Tic Tacs don't even come close to comparing with that cheat. I want that cheat, but I know it's really not going to satisfy me, only momentarily. So I'm going to use these Tic Tacs to substitute for having to cheat. I'm going to put the three Tic Tacs in my mouth and I'm going to chew down on one. The flavor spreads through my mouth and the other two are there to be sucked on. It is physiologically impossible to cheat 
because the taste of the Tic Tacs is going to override any goodness of the cheat. Now, here's what's important. First and foremost, it's going to take two weeks to make it easy to do because you're creating a habit and you're the boss. Think about it. The moment you put those Tic Tacs in your mouth, it's impossible to cheat because the taste is destroyed. So you're exercising control. And the more you exercise control, the easier it gets. So you have to be consistent for a good two weeks. Now, for those of you who are the uninitiated, these are called your abs. Abs are spelt A-B-S. And now I'm going to give you an acronym. A-B-S. Admit. Breathe. Excuse me. Substitute. Admit that you're thinking of cheating. Do three Qigong breaths with five seconds between each breath. Put three candies in your mouth, admitting that they're not as good as the cheat and you're using them as a substitute. Now, here's the key. After about two weeks, you recognize you're the one who's taken control. And that feeling of being in control is incomparable. We live in a society where there are all kinds of tricks. Acronyms are one of them. I don't have to think. Work my abs. Admit, breathe, substitute. Now, understand something. If you are duplicitous, then you're playing both the role of the child and the adult. You can't win. And here's the reason why. The child loves you implicitly for a very simple reason. The child recognizes its existence is imperative upon you feeling good and being successful. So it wants what it wants, when it wants it, and it wants it now, because the moment you give in, it goes from feeling anxious and wanting to make you happy to being satisfied. You have to say, and you have to be the parent, and you have to say the truth. I want that darn cheat as much as you. But if I have it, I'm only going to have a moment of peace. But if I use these Tic Tacs, over the long term, I'm going to get what I want is control, which feels so good. And when I feel good, don't you tell me you don't feel good, because you know darn well that when I feel good, you feel good. Because that's the ball game. So, use the magic protocol. Commit yourself to two weeks. Admit, breathe, substitute. The Tic Tacs are zero calories, so how many times a day you use them is irrelevant. Taking back control of your life is what's important. Thanks for listening. Good talking to you.